Hey, what's up everyone? I am Ishmagan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be making a heart rate measurement application using Flutter. So we'll be using phone's flashlight to capture the heart rate and we'll talk about how it will work exactly in further part of the video as well. But first, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do that as it will really help the channel out. Just go to my channel and click this subscribe button there are a lot of interesting videos that you can watch as well that i think you might like so with that being said let's start this video and begin coding all right then so let's first understand how this complete process will work and what is the reasoning behind it so if you search on google as well there are already many applications that are able to test the heart rate based on the camera and your flash and you just need to put your finger on it as you can see in the image as well so how this complete process is working can be better understand by that particular image and this process is known as ppg and here you can see that the bloodstream of the finger can be captured with the help of flashlight. So the flashlight will go hit the blood cells and then it will travel back to the camera. So flashlight will go to the blood cells, hit it back and capture it inside the camera. So we can see that the blood cells are relaxed or expanded and based on that we can get a graph as well from which we can calculate. So this is the complete process and based on the graph, based on the blood flowing and the speed, we can capture the heart rate because these blood cells are related to the heart rate and are connected with the heart. So that is the complete ideology what we will be making in this video. So let's make a Flutter project. So I'll go to Android Studio and let's make our Flutter project. I'll name the project as Heart rate scan app that's it hit create this window close so our application is made now what we have to do is let's just minimize that or let me open up the emulator first awesome first let's run the demo application Perfect, so our app is running as well. Now let me remove this boilerplate code that we have. And uh, yeah, let's remove that first. And let's create a stateless class for my home table. I'll remove the title because I don't need that. Here, let's make the ui for our app so i'll create a scaffold i will create a body so what we need is i'll create a column children text i'll make a text here cover both the camera and finger Sorry, and flash with your finger. I'll style that. All right. Then what I'll do first, I'll remove the banner. Text the line center. main axis size minimum and I'll make it center okay so after that once this is done we'll also add a text and a row first we'll add icon icons dot 
and something some sized box will add here okay so after that we'll add a package for the heart vpn so that is the package which does exactly that so we don't have to do it so we'll just copy that and add that in your pubspec.yaml file and paste that in hit forget once that is done here it requires a minimum sdk of 21 we we'll see that and after that inside the body you can see it requires a hard bpm dialog okay first let's make this as stateful widget it has a maximum data points of 100 so what we'll do is we'll create a list so let's just add that after that so uh, if it is equals to or greater than equal to then remove zero let's make it equals to and then it will remove the first part otherwise it will add the data and on bpm value we will simply change the bpm value here so let me create that as well int bpm value and let's make it nullable now this bpm value we will use to add the bpm value here dot to string that's it now let's go further and let's see the code as well and talk about that so inside this package what basically is happening inside the lib you can see that there is a chart and a hurt bpm so let's see the hurt bpm sensor value is nothing but a class of date time and the sensor data so here the sensor value data variable that we have made it has two things that is date time and the data point value of the BPM right next we have our hard BPM dialog widget that we have added so this widget has some properties like sample delay on raw data alpha child all that things so perfect and basically what it has been doing is it is initializing controller for the camera and in the init state the controller is initialized and you can see that it is fetching the cameras it is initializing the controller and then it is initializing the controller after that we are setting the torch as on for the image stream and then we are starting the image stream as well so that we'll get the image for each frame and then we'll pass that image to our scan image method now the scan image method is where all of the logical part is happening let's see that so here from this image the bytes it they are getting and then they are getting the average value of that image so they are converting that to average and reducing that then they are removing at zero and adding the sensor value so they are removing the first value and then appending to the last after that we have a smooth bpm method which is passing this average value and then it has a callback method which is again calling the on raw data passing the sensor value which we are using inside our app as well the on raw data and we are getting the value back so i'm getting missing plugin exception so i'll stop it and i'll start again 
Also, you can see that it is showing a loader here, circular progress indicator. So, is the camera initialized? Then, if the child is there, so is the camera initialized? Okay. So, what we will do? I'll just create a child as well, and I'll pass that inside only. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I'll pass the child and the child is nothing but our text value. And let's just pass the text here. Now let me hot restart and test the app. App is running and you can see that it is asking for the permission. So I'll give that permission as well. And here, as you can see, that we started getting some BPM. Now, because like it's not a, it's a fake camera, and it is just capturing that image. And ba based on that image value, it is calculating the average and then returning back to us here. But let's see in the real demo as well if this works or not. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, then please like the video, subscribe my channel, and if you have any doubts, suggestions, then comment them below as well, and I'll definitely reply back. With the, all that being said, I'm Yash Markin. Peace out.